Welcome back to my channel, I'm Dean Walks, and today we're going to talk about losing weight. Yeah, I know I keep changing it up, but hey, you got to change it up because... Why we got to change it up? Because I want to, damn it. Damn. I don't need a... Uh, <laughs> I don't need, like, um, a reason. I just want to. It's my damn channel. Anyway, now, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a bodybuilder, I'm not a personal trainer, but basically I'm going to tell you what works for me, and hopefully that could work for you. Welcome back to my channel, I'm Dean Walks, and this is a space where we talk about basically anything I deem fit. Now, today I want to talk about like weight loss. So if you are here, you're basically a regular schmegler like me and you're trying to lose weight. If I could do it, so can you. Now to lose weight, you have to have these four easy steps that I call essence. Yes, I made that shit up. Essence. So what that stands for is exercise, calories, intermittent fasting, and nutrition. First up, exercise. Now when it comes to exercising, I am a beast. Now previous to trying to lose weight, I didn't exercise at all. I didn't exercise for like a couple of months, probably like a year or two. You know what I mean? Because I didn't want to. Exercise is not something that like we like to do, but you know, I try to incorporate it into my routine because it's very vital to lose weight. Now, I will walk for at least an hour every single day like walk for i'm not talking about walking around in your house i'm talking about actually going outside and go to a park and just walk for an hour walk for 30 minutes or just go on the street listen to your music just walk for an hour walk for 30 minutes this actually helps in burning visceral fats visceral fats are the fat that surrounds your belly and give you that huge tummy that you want to lose and surround your organs okay so you have the regular fat that's on the outside you have the visceral fat that surrounds your organs the other thing is like of course we know about working out I actually work out five days a week and how I managed to do this when the gym was closed was beyond me I actually work out in the park and I will go consistently and this is like something that you have to um, think about being consistent you have to be consistent now there there were one or two days that I actually missed and um, you know I didn't feel so bad because I was very consistent in my workout now apart from exercising and walking the other thing that you got to change is don't be a couch potato you stand inside the house stay in your room or sitting on the couch you're not burning fat go out have some fun live life why are you going out, taking a train, walking around, just living your life? You're going to burn calories. You are going to burn calories, you know? The, the only thing that I would say when you go out, watch what you eat. Of course, exercise is really great, but also, equally, you gotta watch your calorie intakes, okay? So, the, the human body is a machine. If you want to lose weight, you have to be in a calorical deficit, and it needs a certain amount of calories to maintain its weight if you go over this maintenance it's you're gonna gain weight if you go under you're actually gonna lose weight now there are two ways to watch your calories now some people actually count their calories when I first started out I tried this way but it wasn't for me because I didn't have the time to count all my calories and it was very cumbersome for me it was just not a good fit for me I didn't like it at all with losing weight you have to like it if you don't like it you're not gonna maintain it because losing weight is all about being very consistent if you're not consistent the weight is not gonna get gone it's gonna stay there so counting calories for me was not the best approach maybe in the future I'll revisit it but for now I think I'm fine what I did do is that I just did the simple approach just watch what I put inside my body I actually bought these containers online I have like I think like 10 of them I'm not sure you know so anyway because you know with the quarantine you didn't really have that much to do so I figured why not lose weight so I actually bought these um, containers online and this actually helped me control my calorie intake it's called meal prep okay I didn't count my calories but I meal prep and I did that for a while and I stopped doing that you know when I when the weight like came off that I wanted but in the beginning process of me losing weight I actually did meal prep and what I would do is 
I would actually just meal prep like my breakfast and this would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and I'll just like continue on and then on Wednesday I will make my new batch of food. Yeah, that just happened. On a Wednesday, I will make my new batch of food. So meal prep is something that you could um, do. This is something that I feel like most people could do, especially in this time. You know, we haven't really got back to 100%, but we're trying to get back there in terms of like how crazy life is. So just cook your food, put it into your containers, and just like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, actually meal prep it to the point where I had my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner. So I did that in the beginning stages of like losing weight and I suggest that maybe that's some of the steps that you could do too. You could meal prep. Another way of controlling your calorie intake is my third step, which is intermittent fasting. Now with intermittent fasting, you control when you eat and when you don't eat. I did the 16-8 protocol, which basically I fasted for 16 hours and I had an eight hour window to eat. With intermittent fasting, you could adjust the hours of which you eat. So if you're like an early eater, I would say start early. If you're like a late eater, I will say start late. A good example would be if I started at 2 p.m., right, my eating window, my eating window ends at 10 p.m. And if I was a late eater, I would start at 6 p.m. And then my eating window ends at 2 a.m. And just because you're intermittent fasting, that's, that doesn't mean that you get to binge on everything that you want to eat. You are still dieting you're still you have your plan of nutrition of stuff that you're gonna eat so don't eat like a bunch of like snacks like that's not healthy for you and then go to intermittent fasting and then think you're gonna lose weight right you gotta eat healthy foods so after intermittent fasting the next step I would say is nutrition nutrition is very important Ugh, very important now when it comes to nutrition I actually cooked I would say 95% of my meals because when you cook you can use all natural ingredients and you know exactly what's in your food I did not buy any fast food whatsoever fast food contains a lot of chemicals a lot of things that you don't know so a little bit of this a little bit of that could add to weight gain and also health problems so I didn't even try to incorporate fast food in my diet it's just common sense to me I didn't eat any white sugar any brown sugar I cut out sugar completely almost completely I would say I didn't put it into my coffee didn't put it into my tea I when I cook I didn't put any sugar in my food I just cut it out you know I got my sugar from natural sources when um, I was cooking my oatmeal I actually sweetened my oatmeal with um, honey but everything is in moderation too much of one thing can lead to also weight gain as well when it comes to like having something sweet with your dinner, like a juice, I'm gonna do a review on soda alternative, juice alternatives. So stay tuned for that. That's coming up after this video. Um, I have my product choice for what I use. It's very sweet and it's something that like you you like, and it has like a lot of flavors. And I'm gonna explain those flavors and what they taste like. And um, yeah, it's really good. I eat a lot of satiating food. Satiating food are food that keeps you fuller longer. Because sometimes we just eat these foods and we're hungry like in a half an hour and that's not good. You need to eat a lot of satiating food, um, steel cut oatmeal, black beans. Um, also incorporate like other you know, stuff in my diet like eggs, nuts, almonds, um, low, low sugar um, cranberry salads tuna like i had a variety of diets you know being on a diet doesn't mean that you have to eat things that that are boring or that's not um satisfying to your palate you just have to change it up when you actually cook as well this is your opportunity to make it suitable to your needs like cook it how you want to for instance when i cook my chicken breast i put a lot of seasoning on it and that's what i like i like food that is very well seasoned you know so <laughs> like all black people do and you got to pick things that you know you like like for instance when i went to chipotle um or any spanish restaurants i always like the black beans 
I always like the black beans, so I incorporated that in my diet because when I look it up, black beans are very healthy for you. It has folate, which is a B vitamin that fuels muscle growth, and copper, which strengthens tendons. Black beans is also rich in soluble fiber, which is a great for visceral fat. Studies have shown that people who eat a lot of beans in their diet, they decrease their waist size. So if you're looking to decrease your waist size like I did, eat a lot of black beans. So there it is. All of my tips and tricks that I did to lose all this weight. It's not complicated. Don't make it complicated. So if you like this content, you want to see me make some more videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video if you care. I'll see you in the next video, and have yourself a good day.